In your vote, a former congressional candidate caught on camera and accused of stealing test ballots in Madison County. News 8's government reporter Garrick Berkowitz found out what went wrong. Investigators say the test ballots were stolen during a required test of voting machines here at the Madison County Government Center. Investigators say this video shows Larry Savage fold a test ballot and put it in his pocket. They say Savage took at least two ballots with him. The test is inaccurate because you have ballots that were never entered in the machine. But the, the worst problem is he gets on his Facebook Live and his a, a website they have. It's called Madison County uh, Integrity or something like that. And then tells everyone that the election can't be trusted. Ballots aren't counted. You don't, we don't have balance. The balance weren't there because he took them himself. The voting machine test happened on October 3rd. Cummings says ballots are randomly selected and marked with every possible candidate choice to ensure the machines will read them correctly. He says stealing test ballots interferes with that process. This was an effort to create a narrative that fraud is occurring, that mistakes are occurring, and the results can't be trusted. It, it, it's such a disservice to our community. This video shows Indiana State Police detectives serving a warrant at Savage's home that evening. In the video, Savage insists he could take the ballots if he wanted to. They know they're, they're sample ballots. So, I rolled one up, put it in my pocket, and took one of the big ones. Rolled up, put it in my pocket. I didn't know that we couldn't take them. And they're coming out. There's patriots, man. They don't want us to be Americans. Mm -hmm. okay. They don't want us to be Americans. This is going to be, this is going to no, be they don't. The surveillance video appears to contradict that. Savage is the man in the hat standing at the voting machine. They are not fake ballots, these are live ballots. Moments afterward, investigators say Savage posted this in a Facebook Live feed. Three ballots short, LOL, and don't take anything. Last week, he posted on Facebook, a new era of accountability has begun in Madison County. By demanding fair, transparent elections, we will restore trust and protect civil rights. Savage ran in the Republican primary against Congresswoman Victoria Sparks in May. He described himself as a MAGA candidate. He did not answer the door when News 8 went to his home Tuesday afternoon to ask for comment. If he's convicted, Savage could face up to two and a half years in prison. In Anderson, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV. WishTV.com or follow us on Facebook for updates.